So here's one of the pictures. So here's my son has started in today's episode. How do you do interwebbers? So I've got something in my throat today. Uh, I've mostly been playing with my green screen. I got sort of, well, I got a real green screen, but I also got this sort of fake one that I put up in the kitchen to take some pictures that I'm going to use in my Instagram stories. A green screen is something you have in the background, which sort of you can send, you can then erase so that you're just on your own. I'm going to show you one of the pictures I took. So here's one of the pictures. Looks like that. And then by way of an app, I can take away the green background. Sort of, oh yes, and in the afternoon I'm going to see a play called something girls just want to have, I don't know, wait, I'm going to check it out. It's called Girls Will Make You Blush. I'm not really sort of in the mood for this one just by the sort of name of it. And I think that company is kind of, it's a, a company that I feel sort of, they have a kind of entitlement to them that I do not find. They sort of like, I always feel really talked down to when I see those, their plays. Oh, it says here it's a, a humorous show where everything that moves in the head and body of a teenage girl may take all the place it deserves. It's strong, free and shameless. So, is this the show for a middle-aged man like me? I don't think so. Well, I'm going to see it anyway, but I guess they think that they will tell me something I don't know before. So here we go. My son says that she's sitting she's sitting in the middle, middle in a red dress. So can you see any red dress? No. She's in a red dress and white cardigan. Idag, ni får göra nästan allt annat i parken. Ser att vi har möblerat om lite? Har någon varit i parken här tidigare under sommaren? Nej! Känner igen, känner igen. Nej. Känner inte igen. När var ni här? <laughs> Jättebra. Eh, då gillar vi alla eh, Sofias Instagram nu. Eh, kan du hålla dig, Sofia, tror du, under föreställningen? Tveksamt. Om du inte kan så är det bara två Instagram-profiler du får vara inne på. Och det är Unga Klaras och på världsturné faktiskt eh, eh, Ljusdal eh, Kapstaden Johannesburg Broadway och ett stopp här ikväll och imorgon i Galärparken Det här är alltså Unga Klara som ger den här Ja, precis här varför? Jag vet inte. Jag bara gör det. Men du vet inte vad du ska kalla den. Alltså, vet och vet. Ja, den ska vara fin men den ska fan inte ha någon namn. Alltså, fitta heter den, okej? Okay? Fitta. Jag har vägrar säga fitta! Det är äckligt. Du sa precis fitta så jag förstår inte. Ja, men det är... Det beror helt på hur han känner inför din. Håll alla tecken på mäns gömda. Men eh, nu är vi inte bort blodet längre. För nu är det vi som krigar. Det sägs att på den plats du råkar spilla en blodfläck. Den platsen har du lagligt ägande rätt till. Men jag utan talta, jag mot nåt att allt är munbita i sådan när det inte är jag kapaikassa. 
Mutta jos mä uskon teitä, jotka päättää, niin tuntuu, että mä en saisi olla täällä. Oh, me hänet ju död. Hon är inte död. Han är död. Alltså, förlåt, men jag har precis läst en hel bok av henne, så jag borde ju veta om det är en tjej som har skrivit den, eller hur? Fast det är inte det. Och hur kan du vara så säker? Jo, för August Strindberg var en jättekänd man. I just left my son at the boat. She's taking the boat because we live in Stockholm. You can take boats everywhere, at least in the summer. I really did not enjoy that show. I thought it was sort of... I don't know. They were trying to provoke us by telling us that it isn't... Well, they, they sort of they had this... I think they... Maybe it's a generation thing because I talked to my son and I think so menstruation has never been a thing for me like something to sort of be ashamed of or, or something to giggle about it's, something, it's just something that people have well women have but here this sort of oh it's so in the last maybe 10 years in Sweden it sort of suddenly turned sort of oh, you should be ashamed and maybe that's a cultural thing I don't know but here they have all this sort of things about menstruation and menstruation and it's like it was like they were trying to provoke us by sort of naming menstruation but in the same vein they sort of tried to tell us that menstruation isn't something that you should be provoked by so it's just sort of I just got bored it's like oh here's a skit about menstruation again I think there were three of them and it's just sort of, oh, and another thing. So the Swedish equivalent to, I'm going to say a bad word now, cunt is, and we've sort of, lately it's sort of, it's really bad. You should not say it, it's really derogative. And here they have a skit where sort of say, I'm not afraid, I'm calling it that. That's, that's what I'm going to call my vagina, they said. And then you sort of go, oh, so now it's okay to say that because I mean, there are people in the audience who think, think that's okay, so now it's okay to say it. Because they said it on stage, it's not a bad word anymore. But it's not really that kind of, sort of, oh, I didn't go out today. So that was really weird. It's like, okay, so I can say it now. Is that a bad word? Is it politically correct to say it? I'm not sure. So the weird thing is that this, I leave this show with a sort of feeling that Menstruation should be something that is sort of a little icky and I don't feel that way. It's really, really bad. Mm -hmm.